Your mate Jackie is off on a job interview and as she leaves, she says, if I get this job, I'm going to get so drunk. The next day, you see Jackie with sunglasses on, hoodie up and giving the pitiful whines of the hungover. Congratulations on getting the job, you say. And she groans and says, oh no, I didn't get it, so I got drunk instead. You've made a classic mistake. You have confused a conditional with a biconditional. The problem is that in ordinary language, the word if contains two easily mistaken meanings. The first is a regular conditional, which states that if X, then Y. So if I get a pay rise, then I'll buy a new pair of shoes. If my partner cheats on me, then I'll leave her. Yet in each case, the then part can be explained by other means. I could buy new shoes or leave my partner for whatever reason. The second use of if is the biconditional. This is where we say if X, then Y, but also if Y, then X. For instance, if and only if a shape is three-sided, it is a triangle, is a biconditional. Or if I say if and only if the ground is wet, then it must have rained last night. But the problem, as you can imagine, is that in ordinary everyday life, these biconditionals are rare. With our wet ground example, while rainfall might be the most logical conclusion, there are also any number of outlandish alternatives. Maybe local hooligans sprayed the ground with hose pipes as I slept. So beware conditionals in everyday life. They will lure you in and they will trick you.